Jevin and I had sort of come from two different backgrounds. He was more of a sales and marketing guy and I was more of a design guy. So right after college, I'd moved to Portland and we had reconnected and it, Tanner sort of started out of this desire to not only design product, but sort of create it start to finish. Tanner, it's, it's sort of a nod just to the industry. When we first started, we we're doing predominantly leather goods, so it was a way to sort of tie back into tanneries and the history with that, so sort of just by association. But when we first started, it was Tanner, and then um, quickly after we launched, we realized, hey, there's this, this whole scope of products that we want to get into five, ten years down the road, and so we amended it and, and added the goods on to the end because really it's about you know anything that's like an accessory or good or there are a million different things that sort of fit within that category. We want people to understand that this stuff doesn't come out of thin air, that we produce it here in Portland and um, it's sort of an extension of our workshop when you go into a retail store you know they get to see sort of that that finishing piece of choosing the hardware doing the final assembly and so it's sort of a way to not only inform them how our products are made and seeing where they come from but also inviting them to be part of the process and they can be part of that process of riveting the belt together. Whenever we launch a new product we sort of sit down and say okay what's missing like what are the items that we use every day because we're not interested in producing something that somebody picks up once every six months and uses and enjoys and puts it away. We're more interested in what our daily lives look like, what are those pieces that we touch every day or at least on a regular basis, and where are, where are the opportunities where we can create a product that, you know, if somebody does use it day in and day out, ultimately, you know, it's a big part of their lives and they form, you know, hopefully some sort of like emotional attachment to it.